Hello guys, my name is Alexander Schreiber, creative director at Zen Graphics, and I would like to thank you and congratulate you for getting close in motion. Um, for those of you that got this on pre-order, I apologize for it coming a bit late, but it's really good for people that were able to get it before the update. Um, in this video, I'm just going to go over the features and basic functions of um, the closing motion add-on and some use cases where um, these features come in handy. So um, let's get into it. To install closing motion, unzip the file you downloaded. Open your Blender preferences, go under Add-ons, Install and locate the Blender version you're working with, 2.9 plus or 2.8. Then select the Python file and hit Install. To connect the library, click on the folder and locate the closing motion folder, then hit OK. Quick Cloth and Quick Collision Click Make Cloth to turn an object into cloth and Make Collider to give an object collision. If the settings aren't to your satisfaction, you can always change them in the Physics tab. Adding a character. Under the Add option, you'll have characters you can add. For now, there's just a female, but updates will have more. After you click, it will drag in a female rig. But in Blender, when you import a Rigify rig, it often comes with a truck load of additional objects. You can swipe these away by clicking Clean Rig. You can use this character to test out default clothes or if you have your own character you'd like to work with, there will be another video where I'll show you how to add to the library. Adding a simple top. Under the Bases menu, you'll find a top that you can add to your character. When you click Add, you'll see a base top that acts as a starting point for you to create a top for your character. I've done this to make sure that you can create custom clothes setting the length of the top, the sleeve, and more, which is why it's called a base. Cloth to key. This is where the magic happens, and this function does two things. It converts your cloth simulation to a string of shaped keys, which lets you do some magic things. For instance, after this cloth simulation has been baked, so far there are no modifiers enabled on the cloth. When you click cloth to key, it will convert the cloth to a string of shape keys. In this mode, your cloth simulation has turned to a string of shape keys, which is less heavy, easier to work with, doesn't rely on the base cache, can have its speed adjusted after simulation, can be edited after simulation, and much more, opening a whole new world of possibilities. This function also lets you latch other objects onto your simulation, such as buttons, pockets, lapels, zips, buckles, and more. You simply place the object, in this case a button, onto the cloth, select the cloth, and set as target. Select the object and make sure it has no modifiers enabled and then hit cloth to key. Then the object will follow the cloth. If you have to redo the simulation of your target, you can always select the object, press delete all shape keys and hit cloth to key again. Edit frame and offset. After converting the cloth, you can hit edit frame on parts of the simulation where there are tiny errors. This will pull you into sculpt mode so you can touch up any annoying glitches. You can also add offsets to your animation by creating a new shape key and adjusting parts of it throughout or for different parts of your simulation. For instance, in this animation I changed the shape of her vest neck. I also raised her top from intersecting with her trousers. In Armour the Ace we used it to adjust the length of his sleeve during the simulation and there are many other use cases. Cloth to key rules. Now there are a few rules we have to follow um, for our cloth to key to work for now. One, make sure the object has no modifiers enabled before hitting cloth to key. Except you're converting a cloth to key, then you can have the cloth modifier of course. Two, the simulation, the cloth to key calculation starts from frame one to the end frame of your, of your scene. So if you have 50,000 frames in your scene, then you might have to hit um, Control or delete because it's gonna calculate 50,000 50, frames. So before hitting cloth to key, set the end frame, the end of your scene, to the end of the simulation, okay? And three, it must not, um, the target must not have an edge with more than two polygons. Although this rarely happens, in a later video, I might show you how to work around this, okay? So these are all things we have to um, make, have in place for it to work. 
which are normally rare situations but for now for now those are in place but um that's why it's an add-on after some development we're definitely going to improve it and it's gonna we're not gonna have to worry about these things Closing motion also comes with um, custom items such as glasses that have um, some features on them to help you fit easily fit the um, object onto your character. It also has um, sandals and buttons and pockets and so much more. To latch pockets onto your model, put the place the pocket, import the pocket of course, and then place it close to um, the object in front or wherever it's supposed to be and then select the shrink wrap modifier that's on it and select the target. Now the closer you drag it to the target, the thicker it's going to appear. It's been, um, let's say, rigged with um, weights so that the shrink wrap works properly and um, latches onto it as a pocket. So um, that's how you latch pockets onto your object. All right, so that will be all for now. Um, the basic features and functions of closing motion plus the library. And um, this is actually my first add-on, first add-on we've made and um, we're going to develop it and make it better. I know I don't like the rules that you have to follow for it, so I'm going to work on those. It should be an easy fix, but um, I want to give a shout out to the Serpents add-on. And by God's grace, it came out at the perfect time. I'd already done the code, but then wrapping it up was a bit hard, but the Serpents add-on helped me make the add-on. So um, yeah, I want to give a really, really big shout out to that product and um, i forgotten the name of the person that made it, but yeah. It was really great. So thank you so much for your purchase. Hope you enjoy it. Please leave a review. Um, we've only got one review on this product, but um, more reviews will be really, really encouraging and um, I hope you have fun with it. So catch you later. Safe. So.